What the hell is going on guys? Today we are going for some perch. We're going back here again because this is the only spot I know where we can catch fish. Uh, last time I was here, I hooked into a giant laker, barely any perch, but I've seen some posts today that the perch are on fire. So we're going to go try that out. If we don't get them, then we're going to go try for the lake trout and we'll see what happens. I got worms. Basically, I just got trout worms and night crawlers. So that's what we're going to be using for the perch. And I brought some uh, other artificial lures for the lake trout. But yeah, stay tuned and hopefully it's going to be a good one. Alrighty boys, I don't know how well you guys could hear me, but we got to the spot. I'm not really even going to face towards the wind because my camera's going to die because it's really bad out here. But all I got is basically an egg sinker. Then I got one hook. Then I got another one. With uh, these green trout worms I got at a gas station. And we're just going to eat this thing out there all the way in the middle. I got two rods, I could use two rods, so we're going to eat one in the middle, then one more to the side, and we're going to see what happens. Doesn't look very good, I don't see people catching anything, so I might get skunked. If not, I'm going to go down and see if there's any lake trout biting, but the weather is brutal out here. It's like 20 degrees with a whole bunch of wind. Alrighty guys, as you see, we moved down a lot. I just changed to... A little um not a little pretty big maps and i got one worm thrown out there but basically i didn't get any perch over there so i'm gonna try get something bigger hopefully if not we're gonna go back to perch fishing we're gonna go closer but i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen guys it's brutal out here like i am freezing it's really really bad and uh hopefully we'll get on some fish do i have some what the hell? I just had something very tiny. I don't know what that was, but yeah, it is brutal out here, guys. And I'm not sure if we're gonna get anything today. It might be that kind of a day, but we're gonna sure as shit try. And hopefully, get on some fish. I don't know if I mentioned that I have a worm out there. And I'm trying on a spinner. Got a, like a rattle trap too, so we're gonna try different things and hopefully, we'll get on something guys we just hooked up on something big it's another lake holy crap guys i was not recording because i did not expect that and this guy is freaking huge and i have no idea how we're gonna get him in honestly i have no idea how we're gonna do this but we're sure as hell gonna try but this thing is huge <laughs> i was not recording my camera might even die while reeling this fish in god damn guys <laughs> freaking perch are biting we're getting lake trout <laughs> oh my god this guy's big too and you hit the i got a little inline spinner that my girlfriend actually bought me <laughs> oh i don't know how we're gonna do this i don't even take my nut with me i'm just gonna try to beach him right here and just jump on jump on the shore oh he's kind of Kind of coming out a little bit out of his mouth gotta be very gentle i don't know if we're gonna get him in but that is a beautiful lake trout that is a beautiful fish please don't get off please don't get off i need that wave to push him in a little bit all right we're gonna pull him in a little bit all right so what we're gonna do now is loosen the damn drag just so he can keep enough tension so he doesn't spit it out and we're gonna run over here <laughs> Oh, I can't believe this happened guys. <laughs> I wish I was recording But I was doing it for so long that I didn't think it was gonna work oh, He's still there. Oh my god. I really hope the camera didn't die. I don't think it did But <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see he's beached up over there and we're gonna go pick him up right now <laughs> Oh my god, this is perfect Way better than catching perch guys Way better than catching perch. I'm gonna take my glove off. <laughs> Hold up. I don't know if this thing is on. It is. Look at that guy. 
<laughs> oh, he's trying to run. But I got my, I got good shoes, so. <laughs> oh, guys, look at this thing. <laughs> I picked him up by the gills, so he's bleeding a bit, but holy crap. <laughs> oh my God. I don't have a tripod to really show you guys in because I was not expecting this. But holy crap. I'm going to take off my other glove. Look at that, guys. This thing is a beast. It's about the size of the other one. And look how you inhaled that spinner. I put on uh, two big split shots to keep that thing down since we're fishing like 12 feet up. But yeah, I'm about to unhook him and I'll show you guys the bait. Alrighty guys, just a very quick look. My girlfriend gave me the idea to put my phone in front and look at him guys. <laughs> this is a beautiful Laker. I am not sure how much he weighs. He's bleeding a lot because he got gill hooked a little bit. But this is what you can get if you stop trying for perch and just try for these Lakers. These Lakers are eating the perch. All I had was that big old inline spinner with two big split shots keeping it lower. And this guy slammed it. I was retrieving it and letting it fall and he slammed it on the fall. Let's get to fishing and hopefully we'll get one more. Alrighty boys, I don't know how much you guys saw, what you guys saw, but this is what I caught that thing on. Big old inline spinner says number five maps black furry i got two big old split shots to keep that thing down and what i'll do is i'll pop it out there let it hit the bottom give it a couple cranks and let it sink a little bit because if i keep reeling it in it's gonna go too high up for them these lake trout like to sit right by the bottom so i was reeling it in early and i realized that it just goes way too high for them and it literally there's three throws of me doing the stop and retrieve thing and we got into a monster the other one was bigger that I caught it two days ago. It was fatter. Sorry about that, guys. I, it's so hard recording in this weather. My hands literally feel like they're freezing off and these batteries just die nonstop. I'm so lucky I have this charger that my girlfriend bought me that, that just charges the GoPro batteries right away. Or else I'd be done with batteries because I've gone through like eight of them. But yeah, just a stop and pause retrieve. You know, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Just reel it, give it a couple cranks, let it sink back to the bottom, and then keep doing that. And that guy hit it on the drop. Either on the, I'm pretty sure he hit it on the drop. I just felt a little thump. And yeah. Alrighty, boys, that is a wrap. Uh, I stayed out there as long as I possibly could, but it, I mean, it's already pretty damn dark as you guys can see, but it, it was brutal. It's like 20 degrees, 26 degrees, but the wind chill is just crazy. My erotic kept freezing up. My my batteries kept dying. Everything was going wrong, but I did record that one fish and I did get that one fish. I didn't get any other bites, but that one fish just made my whole day. If you guys like this video, subscribe for future content and I'll see you guys in the next one.